Guys, welcome back to another Lorwyn flashback draft. If you guys got a quick look at the uh, at the counter there, at the at the queue, the queue, the queue box, uh, you may have noticed that we were in this queue for about ten minutes before it actually fired. Uh, oh, Cyborg Yui, I got that, and I really appreciated it, and I I, I totally forgot about it, and uh, you totally didn't have to do that because I totally forgot, but I really appreciate your honesty and uh, your support. So thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. And that deck was a blast, so. Other giants get plus two, plus two, and have trample. Thank Marsh Flitter, Eyeblade Sending, all these are good. Rogue Optic, eight months in a row. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. Uh, it's either Marsh Flitter or Eyeblade Sending, I'm pretty sure. I do like Marsh Flitter a lot, and it's kind of cool with the Goblin deck. This card's just really solid removal, though. I'll take the Marsh Flitter. Oh, Weed Strangle. Oh, Molly Boy! Oh, I love a Mull Drifter, but the problem with Mull Drifter here is that there's no blue-black combination. I guess there's Fairies, isn't there? Hmm. God, Weed Strangle is just very, very good, though. Can someone tell me if it's Weed Strangle or if it's Mull Drifter, because... I don't know if I... I feel like I'm too emotionally compromised to make this pick. It's definitely not a 15-hour Tron stream. And uh, that kind of talk gets you banned here, just so you guys know. It's never not Muldrifter, is it? Hmm. Sentinels of Glenelendra is pretty good. It is a 2-3 flyer with flash. I like that. Plus, there's nothing like there. I mean, like we, we could take Moon Glow, Glo, Moon Glove Winnower. I also don't hate Familiar's Ruse when we have both of these guys. That's actually pretty good. I kind of like that a lot because you just bounce like I'll bounce either one of these, and then I'm pretty okay with it. Yeah, we're definitely taking that. Think of your end step, untap all Merfolk you control. That sounds. This pack is actually terrible. Just take Wanderer's Twig. Is there like a like a hair here? I gotta. What format is the fifteen hour stream gonna be? Uh, all of it. There's no, there's definitely not gonna be one format for fifteen hours. We'll probably play some Legacy, some Modern. I would like to play some Vintage. Uh, we're definitely gonna do some drafts. We'll probably do some. I mean, we have 15 hours. It's, it's an unbelievable amount of time, so. Also, Sebastian, your English is just fine. So, no apology needed, good sir. Hmm. Thieving Sprite's actually good in the fairy deck. I'm gonna keep on, I'm gonna keep on keeping on here. There's a ring skipper deal. It's just a 1-1 one, one for 2 that just put on... It just keeps coming back. Nobody cares about that. I do like this guy. It's a potential 3-3. Reveal a goblin card from your hand. I don't know if we see us doing that. Well, we're probably going to see your face tomorrow. I don't know if we're streaming tomorrow. I'm probably not going to stream tomorrow in anticipation for the Wednesday-ness. Uh, I do like Old Turtle here. Vivid Creek, Wanderwine Hub, Boggart Loggers, Nightshade, probably just Vivid Creek. It lets us splash other things. So does Wanderwine. Wander, Wanderer's Twig.
Okay, okay. Don't care about you. You're not great. You're also not great. None of these cards are that good. I kind of just want the two drop. Are we just like merfolk with <laughs> merfolk fairies? Oof. next main phase at equal so this is just the this is just mana drain if you win the clash and it's four mana um don't care about it. i'm just gonna take this oh, god this deck is not i feel like we may have messed up by not taking the weed strangle but what can you do that's life you know What up, Zimini Pot? Oh, the Moon Glow Winnower came back. That's pretty, pretty funny. That was like one of the few cards out of that pack we were thinking of taking, and here it is. Boggart Birthright. <laughs> All right, sure. I thought this said Boggart Birthrate at first, and I was like, well, what is the Boggart Birthrate? Hmm. I guess that's true. We do have a Marsh Flitter and a Mold Drifter and two more packs coming up, so. Pacific Coast, Hi Hi Pacific Coast Highway is correct. That is definitely the name of the track. Uh, discard an elf. I don't foresee you being any good. Anyone else as shocked as I am? No, no one. We're going to pass a Chandra Nalar, <laughs> which is kind of funny and something you'll never do in Limited, but we are going to take this Aether Snipe, I think. Shut up and take my money. Okay. Can't not donate. Bye, Vision Hab. Just don't let her near the Tron lands. That's the goal. That's the goal. I actually think I'm going to trade away all my Tron cards before they get here just so we can't, uh, just so no no mistakes happen. Billy, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Definitely helpful. Definitely helpful. We're really close to uh, fulfilling that goal as well. Uh, we're not going to have, oh, this is Merfolk and or Fairies. I did actually, I actually didn't know that it counted both. I think it's I think it's either Snipe over Silvergirl Dowser. Although Silvergirl Dowser is very very good. This is actually a tough one. I like either Snipe especially with Familiar's Ruse. Yeah, I want to take the Snipe and then hopefully we can get more of either of those because I think they're both very very good. Karn Wanderer is interesting, right? As long as a creature with flying is in the graveyard, it has flying. The same is true for First Strike, Fear, Double Strike. Death Touch, Haste, Landwalk, Lifelink, Protection, Reach, Vigilance, Trample, Shroud. That's a lot. Makeshift Mannequin is good. Dream Spoiler, which is also pretty Shut good. Up and take my money. Gotta get out of the pile of stream. I have 20 bucks. Haji Gulashi, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Ooh, I was gonna say welcome, but that's not how that works. I think we're just taking Karn Wander. At worst, it's a 4 4. Makeshift Mannequin is pretty good with Muldrifter, Aether Snipe. Oh, God. Besides, how many abilities can this even get? Like, just one? We're going to take the mannequin. I think I think Pernicious Dude's onto something there. The Dowser. Oh, we're definitely taking Dowser, and hopefully that other one comes back. That'd be gas. Oh, 
Another Aether Snipe? Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Josh, I got your deck. Deck received, my good dude. I'll take Aether Snipe, sure. Doran? Man, we could have Chandra and Doran, which are literally all three of the four colors, three of the all three of the three colors that we're not playing. Dream Spoiler Witches is good. One bio missionary bug cloned ten times to make sure I win the game. Wow, that must have, I, I think that's probably the most topical uh the most topical donation there. Sarcastatron, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You guys are great. Uh it's one of these two. I don't know either one is really that good. I think it's probably witches, right? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, Pestermite? Hmm, we can win the game. Thank you. Shove Jr., thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. Whirlpool Whelm is good. I think we just want the flyer, though. It also triggers... The thing is, like, this isn't just a fairy. It also triggers this. It works for the Silver Guild Dowser. Uh, works for Thieving Sprite. We can get it back with Mannequin to tap something at instant speed. We can bounce it with Familiar's Ruse. Like, there's tons of combos with... Uh, with creature types in this format, which is super nice. Fodder launch. Is this goblin? Oh, it's like a goblin. Neg five, neg five. And it's five. The fodder launch is utterly insane just because it's so strong. But we don't have any goblins. I think the only goblins we have are actually made by Marsh Flitter. Marsh Fitter. Flitter? Flitter Fitter? So we're going to take this weed strangle. And um, Thank you. I'm okay with it. Ryperk, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Whenever you cast a spell during an opponent's turn, you may have each opponent lose one life. That's terrible. Spell Slaughter Sprite, actually pretty okay. Looking pretty okay here. How many fairies do we have? One, two, three, four, five. I mean, I'm not gonna take this. I'm not gonna take another Rascal. I think it's just, I think it's just Spell Slaughter Sprite. Uh, lose two life and draw two cards, then clash on the opponent if you win. Repeat it. I don't actually hate that. It's no mole drifter, but it's still pretty good. I got weed strangled a few times when it was too dank and I couldn't stop coughing. <laughs> oh god. Oh, another spell slaughter sprite? Sure, we'll just take all the spell slaughter sprites. I think you can do it on opponent's lands? Yeah, knowing us will probably just die to Hoarder's Greed. It would literally kill us. None of these cards are any good. Well, for us anyway. The Chandra didn't come back. Shut up and take my money. Cassius, 40 bones! We did do it! Oh my god, you guys are amazing. You guys are amazing. And, uh, thankfully I already bought the ticket, so that was our- Oh! <laughs> thankfully I already bought the ticket, so, so that is already scheduled. I just wanted to see if you guys wanted to contribute and help that stream happen. So now on f on Wednesday we're gonna have Rob, otherwise known as Swole Mike. We're gonna have Regular Mike. We're gonna have Elk Tears. We're gonna have BioVisionary, and we're gonna have me. So it's gonna be like five people alternating in and out for so it's for 15 hours it's gonna be pretty good we're gonna have a good time uh it's gotta be muldrift over weed strangle right the, the double muldrifter deck is pretty nuts right when you recast the spell your opponent's turning your turn target creature you control to its owner's hand who cares about that cloud goat ranger number two is pretty good Get the pernicious dude ticket fun. Jeff, I would totally do that, man. I would totally do that had I known ahead of time. I'd like to go to Florida. <laughs> it's like a $700 ticket because it's like the day before. Um, I'm just going to take Hornet Harasser, I think. 
Maybe it is Glennon. Maybe it is Pranksters. I don't even know. This is this is. I don't know. If we're, I don't think we're playing either of those right now with the four drops we have now. Oh, this is tempting to splash. Wow, this is actually great. I'm really tempted to splash Nath because we have Wanderer's Twig and Vivid Creek. Yeah, we're definitely taking the Nath here. We've also played against this twice in the one, the one draft we've done so far, and oh, we can take Vivid Marsh as well. I do like Broken Ambition, but I think we're just taking the Vivid Marsh because it lets us splash the Nath. Florida? Florida. It's uh, it's because my parents are from Jersey. New Jersey. So. And I also say orange. Orange. Like A-R-N-G-E. O-R-A-A-R-A-N-G-E. That's how you spell orange. Lash Out and Tarfire in this pack. Like, I think we just take the Lash Out. We already have. I mean, maybe we're, maybe we're playing that. I don't know. Mad Unty. Anti or Unty? What do you guys say? Uh, when enters Battlefield, they're sorry for a Merfolk put on top, right? And this is other goblins. We have new goblins. I thought we had a second Thieving Sprite. I'm just going to take this guy. I, I, I don't think there's anything in that pack that's really standing out for us. These packs have been pretty rough for us, to be quite honest. Consuming Bonfire is pretty pretty gas. I don't care about either of these. If Ring, Spicker, Ring Skipper costs one, I'd be on board, but... Uh, seven mana Mornwalk, really? I mean, actually, this far it might be slow enough where Mornwalk is a thing. Sure, we need playables. What does Kulfner's plans do again? When it enters the battlefield, exile the top seven cards. You may look in and play cards, exile, skip your draw step. You may, yeah, that's not good. Fly away on my Zephyr net. Blaze <laughs> forever. How's our deck this good, but we also were like missing two playables? How does that work? All right, well, I'll play this guy because we need two drops and. Oh boy. Daniel, have a good afternoon, buddy. Always a pleasure. We need one card here. We have a lot of strong cards. We just we're missing a lot of filler, I think. All right, so we got two birthrights and an architect's aquatex Aqu will. Prankster is actually probably fine. We can just play that. I think this is actually good. Now we can play one. Yep, one forest. Nine five. I'm probably going. Eight six. Yeah, that seems good. Yeah, this deck is is good. Uh, I think horde. I, I think I like hoarder's greed, but we do have two mall drifters already, so I'm not super concerned with having card advantage like that. Uh, and the other thing is like, this actually. Pranksters actually does have a lot of interactions with double spell stutter sprite and double mul you can return anything right not just yeah it's return a creature so you can actually bounce muldrifter muldrifter snipe snipe more and well like we have a ton of things to bounce this is my second flashback draft i'll keep this hand I mean, I did a ton of, uh, I've done a ton of Lorwyn drafts in the past. This is just my second one, when, you know, at this, at this juncture. Hmm. 
fly away on my zephyr. The first draft is on YouTube now. That is correct. That is correct. Well. Oh, they're going to kill it? Well. Why didn't he keep up Familiar's Ruse? I don't know. I wouldn't have countered that anyway. Two one ones is an hourly. See, that I probably would have countered. Yep, and like we're just missing land drops. We've missed two land drops. Come on. <sighs> yeah, the Bant life, thing, life Gain deck was sweet. There's another There's another part two coming up tonight. Oh, God. Do I just counter this? It seems so bad. Like, I already feel like we can't win this game based on their board state, based on what we have, and based on our lack of lands. Like, it's just... Oh, an Immaculate Magistrate. Of course. All right, well, land. Thank you. Vivid Greek. Yeah, we're actually going to go to the next thing. I, I just don't think we have any any kind of... CTB, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. I will play first. Call me wild. <laughs> Listen, buddy. Take it easy. The 15-hour stream is happening on Wednesday. This Wednesday. Listen a lot of Huntmaster. It's just very, very good. And I hope you don't have that. Yeah, that's also very good. Thank you. Rob, thank you so much, buddy. 24 months, two years. My God. Where does the time go? You know what I mean? You know what I mean, man? Where does the time go? Am I right? He's right. Well, next time we get to Muldrifter, and that's that's okay. Yep, what's on a hunt master? Fly away on my zephyr. One, two, three. So we can actually attack with this guy. Not sure that's great though. Okay, so we drew a Muldrift and a Makeshift Mannequin. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm pretty sure we actually just Weed Strangle this Lissalana Huntmaster. No blocks. Actually, maybe we block because it forces them to chump, 
And then next turn we can make shift mannequin. Of course we could have just taken one and then attacked back. That would have been good. But uh Yeah, magic's hard, guys. Oh, we get to keep that up too? That's pretty cool. No, we don't. Oh, we get to makeshift mannequin. Uh I guess we, I think we still have to kill this though. I just don't feel like dealing with this guy. Um, I'm gonna bottom that. And we gain no life. No life was gained that day. Going to miss the 15 hour stream to work. Any chance it's going to. Uh, parts of it will definitely go up on YouTube. The whole thing cannot, obviously. But every, like, individual thing we do will be up on YouTube. So. Thank you. Uh, no blocks. 17 hour stream incoming. That's not how that works. Uh, false. I see. Well, we couldn't have countered that, so I feel okay about it. Uh, how are... I don't know why you didn't kill it first and then attack with these guys. That seems like it would have benefited you. Ooh wee. Well, that was that's sad because that was one of our that was one of our sprites, if you will. Uh, now no blocks, because now I can attack back, and that's fine. We're probably just going to play more in Wolf. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, that seems good. You got it. Elvish Promenade and a, link, a liquify. Lignify. <laughs> Don't liquify. Uh, treat for condition where X number of elves you control, so a 2 2. Sure. Thank you. Brickbeard, thank you so much, buddy. Welcome back. Are you going to make with two 1 1s? And then this guy's going to be real good? Of course you are. Bottom. Okay. So we put two lands on the bottom, which is nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You got it. That's a big dude. Huh. I see. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
This guy's actually not doing us any favors here, so I'm actually going to trade here. Because now this is a good block here, and they can't really do anything about it. That's actually pretty okay. That was actually four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can actually play Thieving Sprite and Dream Spoiler Witches, though this doesn't do anything. It does let us counter three mana spells. It also does let us kill things, too. Like, they're at a point where they can just play anything they draw. This seems good. So now we can counter three drops. And we get to give something neg neg. Neg neg. Giving it neg 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 What mic am I using? A sure SM7B. I have two sure SM7Bs for each person. Um, is this whenever you cast a spell? Yes, yeah, so we can actually, we're going to wait till next turn so we can cast Spell Stutter Sprite and Makeshift Mannequin on their turn. Uh, the sound is amazing because this is like your, yeah, it's like your, it's a very, very classic mic. Um, I'm actually just going to chump block here. No, I'm not. <gasps> oh, that's pretty good. Four, five, six. So this is actually a lot. Uh, we can actually play this and give one of their elves negative one. Yeah, we're definitely playing Nath here. Okay, so we could play Makeshift Mannequin to kill one of these guys, which makes their, their plant a 3-3, three, three, which I think is actually fine. And I'm pretty sure we're just getting uh, Mall Drifter here. He's got a nice little coffin, uh, you got a little coffin icon on you. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There are four lands in our deck that are not, that are not on the bottom. Uh, I have a cloud lifter and I also have a focus right scarlet. Let me actually see if I can show you guys. It's going to be weird, but. Nope, I can't. There's no way to do it. There's a tissue there, but no, nah, it's it's a it's a scarlet. Uh, blah, 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 blah. You guys know what I'm doing here. We could have blocked with a with a with a four four and then shrank it, but then the point is like that still means they can get a four four every turn, whereas like now they cannot. Really? Was that really weird? Uh, sure. I'll use the ability. Oh, wow. Hey there, Snipe. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay, let's do that, huh? We could have also bounced with this and then just killed it when they recast it, but now they're making two twos every turn, so I don't really care about that. Yep, our deck is pretty sweet.
Alan, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. I really appreciate it. 46 months is a ridiculous amount of time. Pro Elves guy seems very good. I'm actually surprised we didn't bring that in the first game. Uh, probably better than these Deep Treado Marrows. Deep Treader. Deep Tread Marrows, whatever that is. Whatever you are. Should I draft Mole Drifter? Did I ask that? I feel like I didn't ask that, but I'll keep this hand. Okay, so if we can hit lands, I think we're good. We can go three drop, four drop, four drop, four drop, six drop, seven drop, four drop, five drop. Okay, we're doing it. Yeah, that's probably not a huge concern. I'm gonna get a Lissal on a Huntmaster. Okay, well that's... No, the question was Weed Strangler Muldrifter. I will take one damage. Aggressive. Come on, one land off the top. Don't be like this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love and Crafty, welcome back. Really appreciate it. Oh, I guess we can go back to the rent goal now. Remember that time Mike was going to wake up before 3 p.m.? <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Me neither. Okay, so... We could also just mourn Wilk. I don't actually hate mourn Wilk, but... I think I kind of just want Marsh Flitter because it just makes blocking so good. Well, he was supposed to wake up at, like, 2, so we could stream at 2, but... You know, streaming's hard, man. You got it. Bend those branches. What's a 15 hours stream? What is that? Oh my god, is this for real? There's no way this really happens, right? Oh my god. You have a tree you have a literal two mana trick? Sure. <sighs> Keep you on top. That's obnoxious. Okay, we're getting there. Um, I'm gonna hold this back. Like, we win the long game for sure, right? Yep. We have one, one fairy, so we can actually play turtle, 6-6, oh, six, six, of course. Of course it's a 6-6. Six, six. I'm just going to take six here, actually. If we find a way to kill this guy, it's probably... Oh, that's 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 pretty decent, actually. Hmm. 
Are we doing wings? You need to know what to bring? What do you mean? What do you mean you need to know what to bring? One, two, three, four, five, six. We're one man away from this guy. We could actually like just play it and have them discard the last two. My concern is that they have a million dudes and like this only blocks the land one time. I already have wings. I have some uh I have some some morning star veggie wings that I'll be eating. I really don't know what to do here. And if this was MTG Arena, I'd really have a much harder time. I don't want to bounce this guy so that they can replay it and get another guy, but it might just be the best thing to do here. Just make, giving them another 1-1 one, one is not ideal. Because alternatively, play this guy, and they still they go 1, 2, 3, 4, and they still, they're still able to attack with... The problem is all their creatures are just very, very frustrating right now. Uh, we're not going to do the whole hot one spread. I don't have every single hot one sauce. We'll probably just do some, some hotter ones. I'll just take two here. It's actually not terrible. I wish we had one more land because the seventh land would be actually amazing because let's just play a four drop and a three drop or just the Mornwalk, but alas. I'm pretty sure we just go Pester might keep up Spellstar Sprite. We could also play Prankster and keep up Spellstutter Sprite, which might be better. I think we're going to do that. Because this counters any 3-drop, we can also just chump block the land if they attack with it. The wing thing from the web show. <laughs> yeah, the bomb is just miserable. What are we bouncing here is the question. Um, probably just Mole Drifter, right? Yeah, we actually have a pretty good system where next turn we can Pestermite something, return the Spell Stutter Sprite. Yeah, we're definitely going to chump this 8-8. Jester Poo, what's going on, buddy?
I'm pretty sure OBS is just limited by whatever uh, whatever camera you have. I don't think there's really a. Okay, seventh land. I think we're more than welcoming here. Curvaceous Kitty, what's going on? Oh, you gotta, gotta pay some costs, huh? Nameless inversion? Footbot, putting more creatures from your ground on top of your library. Sure. But then you draw a card, right? So we're still hitting two of these, and you get to draw like one, whichever is the next one. Um, choose you. I hope they stacked it wrong and they have to get rid of the 2-2 two -two that actually has an ability rather than the 2-2 two -two that doesn't. Wow, your last card is Profane Command? Wow, we hit the jackpot with that one. Well, so we know what they're going to draw. They're going to make a 1-1, one, one, and now this is going to be an 8-8. Eight, eight, so next turn, we really have to start getting our Pestermite. Uh, if we hit another land, we can actually play Muldrifter, play Pestermite, bounce a dude. But I'm pretty sure we're just blocking this with Thieving Sprite. Block you, block you. Actually, not bad. So we can play Winnower here. Or Changeling. Changeling is actually probably better to just block things. Oh, no, we actually... Hold on, one. We need a blue, don't we? Yeah, that seems fine. All right, we'll just play this guy. Puppy Dog Guys, congrats, buddy. That's insane. Yeah, I feel like we're I feel like we're way ahead. We just have to figure out how we want to do this. Like how we So if they make a guy, we tap it and then we bounce the spell stutter sprite. Yikes for me, dog. Yeah, that was pretty rough. Yep, 10-10. So now we have to jump block probably with the turtle, unfortunately. Yep, that card is definitely uh pretty 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 good. All right. So jump block here, block here, block here. Oh, that was unfortunate. Double spell stutter sprite. Does that do anything? One, two, three, one, two, one, two. Yeah, I mean, actually, actually let's just do a bunch of things. You could also just play Winnower and keep up Pestermite or spell stutter sprite. I 
could also play Muldrifter, uh, block something, and then play Spells Thresh Braid in response, which I kind of like. Yep, that's pretty good. Okay, so... Not, no attacks. Yeah, this is actually... Okay, now we're... I think we're back in business again. Yep. tap you so now we have two fairies so we can actually bounce this guy and then counter it on the way down that seems insane right yep seems good uh, we go block, block, block. No, I don't actually think we're in a, in a position to attack just yet. They do know that, but... I mean... What can you do? Oh, really? See, the nice thing is we can bounce this... <laughs> They attack for three. We can go block, 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 block everything. No, we're not going to really do that. So I think we're just bouncing Muldrifter here. Yep, I had a feeling this would be an alpha here. Block you, block you, block you. I think we can take three, go to five. Just sent an email regarding my legacy list. I assume we can discuss. Yeah, definitely. For sure. I got that as well. Well, Wanderer's Twig kind of sucks, but one, two, three, four, five. If we hit Nath, I want to be able to play it. I also want to be able to play Weed Strangle, so we'll just cast this guy. We did not hit an ath. Did we play land? We did. One, two, three, four, five. We're in a position where like we probably just can't lose if we keep up spell stutter for three, right? Yeah, but if we bounce Muldrifter, we get to play two other... We get to draw two cards. I don't know if you've ever done that before. I mean, sure. <laughs> and they concede. Oh, man. Double spell slither stride. Bounce the Muldrifter. Gas. Good game. Good game.
So end after zero three. Three. All right, cool. That's back. All right. I had a tuna fish Sammy for lunch. It was lit. That's good. That's excellent. Uh, this hand seems good. I will keep it. Work called me in, so I have to leave, and after I finally get caught you alive again, guess some things are just really hard to get to be true. Ashman, I'll have a good afternoon, buddy. Enjoy work. Sorry about your misfortune, my friend. Vivid land. Dang it. Oh, I like a silver gill dowser. Oh, dowsy boy. We're going to play this guy because gaining island walk against the island deck is pretty nice. That guy is also good. Yo, I can get in here. Oh, biscuits. I was hoping they wouldn't see it. Oh, aggressive. They're just trying to trigger spectacle, I guess. Makes sense. Wow, that's a lot of things. I feel like Art uh, Pranksters is actually just better than this guy. Because if we draw any future spell stutter sprites, this is better. Let's just let's just not attack. Silver Gale Dowser is so insane, dude. Come on. I mean, like, the problem is like we we can only draw a forest. We can't draw a twig or any of the vivid lands. They're also missing land drops, which is great. And that's exactly why we played the the pranky boys. Do just moon glow winner? I mean, it doesn't do anything is the problem. I'd rather just keep up spell setter sprites just in case they have a, a two mana card. And like, it counters pretty much everything they play. Well, now it doesn't, I guess. Nath would be good here. You know what? Like, I'll even take a Vivid Land just because it's like, that's fine. We meet again for the er the unfairest of times. The fact that you are still here proves that either you had to consume a mic or your body has evolved into a non-mic type of consumption. Please talk to us about that. <laughs> I don't think anybody wants that. green source that is not a green source i'm pretty sure i'm gonna pester my their land though it's really hard i don't i have no idea how we're gonna get through this can i get a boop i'm just gonna bounce this but i'm not really gonna bounce this it's just a trick it's just a ruse Okay, enter the battlefield. I will tap your island. Untap it? No, don't be don't be tricky like that. Don't be tricky. Okay. It was not a familiar series this time, but in the future. Oh, paper, paper fin wrap scallion. Okay. Let's clash. Let's clash the night away. I'm gonna put you on the bottom. I have no desire for you. And they put a swamp on. 
Mike all uh, this is a little drum roll all Michael Scott so if we attack with both of these they literally just shut them both off god double silver fin gausser is just brutal no one's having a good time we also lost the flip so it's just a 2-2 two -two for 3 that let us scry That is something I can get behind. <laughs> wow. Well, did you look at this? What do we have? One, two, three. Nope, not going to do it. If they get a Mara Regery, though, then we're in good shape. Where are Muldrifters, my dude? <laughs> Target creature gets a negative four, negative zero now. That's brutal. Oh, they just didn't get anything. That's pretty cool. Oh, they got another Marrow Harbinger. Okay, so they're just gonna gonna chain these dudes together like you do. Hmm. Well, could run one out and then counter the other one, and then the second one we can use to bounce something. Nah, I guess that's not that great because it's a catch trigger. So. Um, I'm just going to pass here. Having three silver good dousers on board really, really gums up the whole game. That's fine. They're going to get Una, Queen of the Fae. Yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. Okay, okay. Okay, does that do anything? No. We do want to counter Sower of Temptation. Which means using both of these spell stutter sprites, unfortunately. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. Thankfully, these aren't card advantage. They're not like drawing extra cards here. They're just going on top of the library. Oh my god, the triple marrow harbinger deck. What even? Oh, that's good. That is a goodie boy. So we can go one, two, three, four, five. We actually kind of have to play Spell Stars right here. Right? I mean, not to counter this guy per se, but. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Uh, they weren't attacking to begin with because we have Silver Guild Dowser, which just puts it at zero. Now they have two, though, so they're probably going to attack with both of them. What? Oh, God. This deck is gross. Man, where's the pepper smoke when you need it? Uh, 
one, two, three, four. Whenever. Did you see the video of the two ducks eating peas? It's probably the best video of all time. I don't think I've seen it, actually. That sounds pretty amazing, though. I do like a cute animal eating a food. God, Merrill Harbinger.deck over here. Oh, yes. Woo woo. All right. What are we bouncing? Anything? Do we care? Do we care to bounce anything? I don't think so. Especially because if we bounce one of these creatures, like, we just don't get to actually do anything about it. Like, we want to have four guys on board in order to spell Slutter Sprite the Sower of Temptate from to Sower of Temptation. I mean, this is like a great situation where we get to counter both of the rares, but the alter the, the problem is that it doesn't really do anything against the three Marrow Harbingers on board. They just have like the perfect defenses here, but they get to tap a dude. They, they can negate three of our creatures. So like... Even if we attack with Marsh Flitter, it's like, well, okay, I'll give it negative five. Oh, we can't block any of them because they have Island Walk. So, no. Oh my god, look at these ducks coming over. They're so excited. Oh man, that's amazing. And they have to try to take the nap here, right? Like. So now we're just gonna bounce the other spell slur. No, we can't. If we if we did that, we actually wouldn't be able to. I might actually bounce this guy. It just gives us a way to clash again. <laughs> I mean, I, we we're countering, like, we're doing a lot of things. We're countering their stuff, but, like... Ooh, a random Aether Snipe? That's pretty gas. All right, well... Well, that's no bueno. One, two, three. They hit an island. We hit an island. Everybody hits islands. Bottom. Actually, we can... Do we play land this turn? We did not. So we can go twig. Crack twig. Forest, play the forest, marsh flutter. I don't actually know how to get past these guys. We don't have a lot of removal in our deck, so it's actually a pretty bad matchup for us. I really wish I didn't have islands at this point. Should we just board out all the islands? I think that makes our deck a lot stronger.
Well, that's rude, but we have a makeshift mannequin, so. Bottom again. Okay, you're hitting Death Touchy Boy. And Pestermite, got it. First blood, three damage, all right. Yeah, we can go either snipe, bounce an island. On third turn, mannequin, bounce the other snipe, bounce an island. I feel like we're in bad shape. I feel like we're dead. That's how I feel. I feel like their deck is actually insane. <sighs> wow, they did have a Mirror Regery. Holy smokes. What's with these homies dissing my girl? Why do they got a front? What do we do about all these guys that have island walk? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One damage each creature without flying? I'm tempted to actually just board this in. One damage to each creature without flying. That actually doesn't seem terrible. We can actually take the Nath out to bring in. Actually, we don't really need to take the Nath out. We can just add one. One of these guys. And then we still have four sources of both. Uh, hoo -hoo. And you take out the Rascal, bring in Lash out. Oh, also we have Dream Swirly, which is which would have been great. If we're just non elemental, that's eh, double red. We're not going to be playing that. I have not considered releasing a solo album of song covers. Yeah, I kind of like this configuration. This is pretty cool. And I'll keep this hand Hoping that we draw blue I'm lowering it <laughs> Oh god Ooh wee ooh I look just like Buddy Holly Oh oh And you're married Tyler Moore I don't care what they say about us anyway Love and crafty. Have a good have a good time making the monies, buddy. Okay, well. An island would have been nice so we can play this silver guild house. Or I guess we took out the island, so I guess we don't get to draw them anymore. Yep, okay. Well. So 
As far as I know, you can't do anything about this. Can't have island walk if we don't have any islands. Oh, wow. I'll choose that either snipe. You know, I had a feeling it was going to be a Mara Regery. <laughs> Jesus. I just don't see any value in, like, making them discard two cards. Like, this is just brutal. I like that it felt like we had a solid strategy, a side, solid sideboard strategy. We have the the card that deals one damage to all the uh, all the Merfolk guys, and then they 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 play immediately two creatures that pump their one one Merfolk like this guy. So now all of a sudden, and if we had a blue source, we could actually spell Star Sprite this guy. So you know, it's the little things. Well, they didn't attack there. That's fascinating. Yep, we're just done. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna play this out. Like this is ridiculous. <laughs> It's like unbelievable. All right. <sighs> Flunk, thank you so much for continuing the gift sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, thank you. You are appreciated. I'm going to keep this hand. This hand is a little bit interesting, but boy, if we don't have some heavy hitters in it. Also, I don't think this format is that fast, so. Hey, man, it's me, the guy you just played. Minty ass. <laughs> What's going on? That was, uh, that was some good. Your deck is actually insane, just so you know. Island Walk is a real thing, yeah. It seems like it's rare that it comes down to that. Also, so is Silvergill, uh, Miss, Missy, really, the Dowser, Sleedle. One, two, three, we have seven cards, so we're just gonna have to, un we're just gonna have to discard if we do this. I guess we're just gonna hope that we hit a land. I don't know, man. This actually might be an 18 land deck, weird as it sounds. Oh, they didn't play anything. And we drew a little little nerd arena. Oh, you're gonna counter it. Yep, sounds good. And now we're talking. Okay. Alright, we've we've done it. Things have been done. We have no instance, so I don't really care about this as much. I'd rather just have Marsh Flutter out because then we can Familiar's Ruse and bounce it back to our hand, which is actually quite a sweet combination, as you might know. Oh, no attacks. I like it. Land? Spell Stutter Sprite. We can counter two drops. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is where they go, uh, Mountain the Chandra that we passed. You got it. I 
That's a good card. I also have a good card. I'm going to tap your um, blocky boy. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. I'm just going to pass here. I think the Dream Spoiler Witch is a little stronger, especially when we have Pestermite spells that are and Familiar Zeruz in hand, so. Oh, yes, that card is d -d -d dead. It's less dead now. That's unfortunate. Welp. Fascinating. What do you want to see reprinted in Modern Horizons? Um, I mean, it's not going to be anything that's ever been standard, anything that's ever been modern legal, so it's going to be a new modern card. That being said... Uh, my answer is Leobold. Uh, Port sounds miserable. I would not want Port in Modern. So we have one fairy now, or we used to have three. That's pretty good. Oh my god, this Dream Spoiler, which is so OP right now. Like, where's my makeshift mannequin when you need it? <laughs> so we attack with this, they give it neg three. It's pretty bad. True name is not very fun. How dare you talk about my mother? Four, five, six, seven mana. So we can actually keep all of these up. Or we can play turtle and... I also think Mother of Runes is probably too powerful for modern, but what do I know? Yikes. This is just ridiculous. God, we're facing up against all the Stony Brook Angler Silvergill Dowser decks. And it's kind of ridiculous. We have one. God, I just don't even care about this card. Yeah, it's fine. Shell Dock Isle, and I had a Spell Stutter Sprite. Uh, I 
I want to put that on the bottom. I just don't care about that. I'd rather have makeshift mannequins so we can makeshift mannequin dream spoiler witches and actually try to get back. Doesn't untap during its controller's untap step? Yeah, that's fine. We have familiar's ruse, so that's actually just great for us. We can also pester my to untap it if we wanted to. I mean, if we draw a land, we can bounce any of these guys and then counter them on the way down. That's pretty strong. That's actually insane. Okay, so you're tapping down probably March Flitter. Pestermite, okay. Yeah, that's fine. They take an extra point if we sack, but we have to actually trade a goblin for it, so that's actually pretty good. Nah, I'm just gonna hold back. Like, we're just not in a position where, like, we can effectively race them. I mean, Mannequin's actually fine. Like, we Mannequin got this guy back for four, and then if we draw another land, we already have two spells that we can we can utilize to kill their guys on their turn. Like, we can kill the Judge of Currents and the Dowser. Yeah, that's pretty gas. <laughs> Leaves us Familiar's Ruse and Spells that are Sprite? Sure. And next time we get to play Nath? Oh, yes. All right, well, we got a lot going on here. Okay, always yield to this because I don't care. Fine. Talent Tuber Trooper too strong for modern? Maybe. So if we attack with both of these guys, they just negative one, negative, negative this guy, and then they take like one. And they're breaking even off the Silver Go Dowser? Sure. I mean, like, it's just not ideal. Streambed Aquatex. Got him. So I have no cards in hand? Seems good. So we can Familiar's Ruse bounce our Mole Drifter. We can also just bounce the Dowser and then Familiar's Ruse it on the way back down. Bouncing the spell stutter sprite. I don't hate that actually. Or is it one of these two? I think it's actually one of these two. We're just not going to do anything here. I'm not going to attack into this board. Like, it's just too... 
too ridiculous. My, I don't appreciate your ruse. My what? Your ruse. Your cunning attempt to, tr attempt to trick me. Oh, this guy can tap too, so he's just tapping all the things. Just all gains 72 life. Oh, they played it off a of shell dock aisle. Okay. Well, we're going to ruse this guy. We're going to bounce the spell stutter sprite, I believe. And the mole drifter, for that matter. No attacks. Okay. I like it. There's just so much going on that it's kind of a five, six, seven, eight. So we can actually play this guy. Bounce your tapper boy. Oh, they've just conceded. Wow. Oh, that's insane. I did not expect us to win that game. I mean, like, not not that quickly, anyway. I thought that was going to be much, much grindier of a game. Um, yeah, I think Hurly Burly and Lash Out are good again. Like, we can take out the one island and bring in one mountain. And... Any ground guys that die to that should be taken out like the deep tread marrow i'll take one deep tread marrow out just because having an island walker is good against them and we'll take out the moon glow whenever wow that was pretty weird i mean we do kind of have an engine like we do have a pretty efficient engine well this is pretty rough um how many lands do you hit for this to be good uh, too many this is this is better I'm never gonna, never gonna give you up. Also, I'm back and I've got groceries now. Well, why don't you brag about it? Unbelievable, this guy. Oh, look at me! I'm a middle class with my groceries. I'm gonna go to the store. And I'm gonna make sure I get a lot of food to eat. Oh. Whatever, buddy. I was wondering about those Commander Dexter Sands since I haven't been able to catch the stream on any of that. And if you're already... Uh, I have not. I have not done so yet. Uh, actually, so I was sponsored by GoatBots for like three years. And then they recently discontinued their sponsorship program. Um, so that was rough because then I wasn't able to borrow cards. But I just recently got sponsored by Mana Traders. Um, so that's pretty sweet and we should be able to uh borrow cards in the, in the near future for things like that just because like it's hard for me to do commander modern legacy or vintage decks um when i don't have those cards at my disposal like if i have to spend like 25 30 40 tickets to do a commander deck uh i'm barely breaking even at that point <laughs> so Yeah, so it was a good feeling. I uh, actually finalized some things today with Mana Traders, and that's it was pretty sweet. So I'm actually just waiting for them to update my account and make sure everything's good to go. I'm not going to, like, hold my hopes out uh, that I can get some sick value off of this, this Spell Stutter Sprite in, like, five turns. I'd rather just trade with this guy who really gets obnoxious and I'm gonna wonder why he didn't equip that ahead of time uh, the stream is actually stuttering it's dropping a ton of frames right now 
not exactly sure why, but my internet's actually been terrible, and... Like, it's gotten to a point where, like, we actually, um... It's actually disconnected at least once a day for the past week, I think, which is pretty obnoxious. Hmm. Fascinating. I guess we're hoping you can't counter this. Wow, scattering stroke. Um, yeah, we can put that on the bottom. <laughs> that's just worse for us at this point. Well, they don't get anything, so that's good. Yep. Stop all the downloading. Pork chop sandwiches. All right, well, that's pretty good. Yep, that's fine. Probably tempted to kill that guy. But I think we actually have to kill the angler here. Fallow Sage and a Swamp. I will bottom the Swamp. I don't want to get broken ambitions here, so I'll just play the Nath and play the land. Wow! Holy smokes, you're good at this game. That's unbelievable. Wow, that's amazing. That was incredible. Yep, it's pretty good. Top deck of Nath, they have the fairy trickery. Like you do. <sighs> yeah. Well, that's annoying. I mean, if we can draw weed... Weed pruner? I don't know what the card's called. Weed strangle? That'd be great, but... I don't foresee it happening, especially now that they have this sweet engine. No, I will decline. That would be great if we had things to do. Yeah, this game's premature, where they can pump this guy every turn, attack for three.
Yep, all right. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Broken, they did have the broken ambitions. Hilarious. Hilarious. Okay, well. Fly away on my Zephyr. This is a keeper. I can, I can, we can make this work. All right, we're doing it. I wonder if this guy can just win the game in 10 turns. I mean, I imagine we get Forest. I think there's only one card in the deck that we can't cast uh, without double black, and I think it's... Uh... Drowner of Secrets. Tara of Guns have Merfolk. Target player puts the top card of their library into their graveyard. Sure. I kind of just want to kill this, even though it's not the best use of... Okay, well... So the problem is we can actually kill it and not have to waste the, I think we just. Thank you. Stoneward, thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back. Six months, really appreciate it, buddy. Really appreciate it. Don't be something good. That's actually great. That's just fine. Joke's on you. I don't want to draw that anyway. And I don't want to draw that either. We already have a fifth land in hand. <coughs> okay well that card's annoying Seriously? Fine. If we can draw a land here, it's pretty insane. Oh, we drew a Nath? I think we're just keeping the Nath on top and casting it next turn. Yeah, that seems good. I imagine they're putting their Vivid Crag on the bottom. Hundred percent on top. I'm kind of wishing we took the island, but I did not foresee us drawing a second either snipe.
Also, I'm not I'm not above more welking them and making them discard too. What is this? Small drifter? Six mana. I don't know what's going on. This is an X spell? Uh, of course, it's a weed strangle. Why wouldn't it be? I mean, if we block, they just pump it. So that's pretty obnoxious. This actually might signal the end. And if we draw a spell next turn, we can cast the other snipe. If we draw a land, we can cast more Mornwalk. So I'm not super disappointed with either, I guess. But like being able to put eight power on the board while they have to replay their three drop is pretty good. Okay. Well, <laughs> seems good. No blockums. They just they cast a weed strangle in their in their blue white deck, which is pretty amazing. Off of shimmering grotto and vivid crag, like that's that's incredible to me. I mean, we're splashing two cards, but we're also doing it off of like they're also single single colored. So they have four merfolk, so every merfolk, everything we do gets uh, gets like a negative a million on it. This is where broken ambitions, no broken ambitions, okay. I don't think we've drawn weed strangle once, like it's kind of sad. Phallusage and paperfin rascal, what is the last card you kept? Good lord. Fascinating. Pestermite, Harpoon, Sniper. Yep, that card's impossible to beat. I'll put this guy on top. Like, they can literally just block with this one, and then they just make it a 4-5. It's pretty insane. So they go block here, pump itself. Block here, no.
They can go block here, double pump, negative three this guy, and then just take two. So we lose an Aether Snipe to deal two damage. It just doesn't seem good, but I really don't know how we win this game otherwise. Yeah, that card's utterly insane. It just deals five damage to an attacking or blocking creature. Like, come on. You got it. Yeah, that card's broken too. Their deck is insane. Like, I don't know how they're 1-1. One, one. Like, that's literally mind-blowing to me. fascinating I don't think it does anything like this guy's just way too good That value, though. I don't actually know what cards in our deck uh, get us out of this situation, unfortunately. I mean, we'd strangle on the sniper. Sniper actually puts us in a decent position with the with the number of flyers we have. So, like, we're not dead, but it's really not great. I have two of those. Can I draw one of those? That would be great. We should actually play all the lands we have, just because if we draw Muldrifter on a turn, we want to be able to play a land that turn as well and maximize the number of lands we have. Also, makeshift mannequins are actually terrible when they have Stonybrook Angler and Silver Guild Dowser, so that's pretty bad. There they go. They figured it out. Yep. Man, where's Hurley Burley when you need it? <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, it's, it's not nothing, I guess. <laughs> yep. 
Yep, this is where it gets out of control. Because now they can play it, tap four guys, play it again. Yep, should have countered that. That was actually pretty bad. I thought that was actually summon the school. And then... Uh, and then we could have done a thing. This, wait. Oh, that's great. That's actually fine. I will counter that guy. Uh, this is game three, unfortunately. So we're probably going to go one, two in this draft. I mean, they have like 10 seconds less th or more than we do, so I don't think I don't think timing out is really going to affect them so much as it is us. Um, sure. Wow, lore enforcement. Wow, that's hilarious. That's actually very good. Uh, what did they hit? An island? Yeah, we're just going to put this guy on the bottom. He's just not doing anything for us right now, unfortunately. You got it. Thank you. And Jester Poo, 10 months in a row, man. Thank you so much. Longer than most of my relationships. I accept. Yeah, the deck is insane. I would love to play the Merfolk deck that looks anything close to this because this deck is ridiculous. But Wow, another Stony Brook Angler. Okay, so they literally just... I don't think they've drafted a bad card. Yeah, if they have a counter spell for this, we're just going to concede. Like, we just can't deal with this board. It's pretty insane. They did not. Hmm. I figured they had broken ambitions. Oh, fairy trickery. Sure. Okay. Well... I don't think I don't think there's any way I can actually win. Um, the judge of currents was actually I think the nail in the coffin for us. We could have actually countered it. I I don't know what's going on. Like yes, just yes, all of it's fine. Thank you, Freedom Cobra. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Nine months. Really appreciate it. It sucks because we put the Dream Spoiler, which is on the very, very bottom, so I don't foresee us hitting that anytime soon. But if you guys are watching on YouTube, definitely check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns, which is a great deal. MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. If you're watching on YouTube, you can also check me out on Twitch and Patreon. The links are in the description below, so you can click on those links. Super easy for you. And if you want to subscribe or follow on Twitch, both of those help me out a ton. And... Uh, it's a great way to support the stream other than just watching on YouTube. Same thing with Patreon. $1 a month on Patreon is super helpful and uh, just a way to appreciate the content. So you can go to patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. And uh, yeah, this card's nuts. It's actually incredible. Like this, these are all tier one commons. Streambit Aquatex, uh, Stonybrook Angler, and Silver Guild Houser are all tier one. This is this is also this is a tier one uncommon. This is a tier this is a tier one uncommon. These are tier S, I guess, if you want to call it that. But I don't foresee us winning. We're just gonna go. We're just gonna concede. I can't. There's no way we win this game, unfortunately. We could have timed them out, but they could just alpha at any point and just probably crush us. 
Yeah, and we're just drawing like land, land, weed, strangle. Weed strangle gets sort of like one one relevant creature when they have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six relevant creatures on board. So our deck just didn't have a lot of a lot of uh, removal. Our, I thought our deck was fun. Uh, definitely had a lot of synergy and uh, powerful late game cards like double Mulder for double either snipe. But unfortunately, like our early game was really lacking, and uh, any any of the more synergistic tribal decks are pretty sweet against us so thank you guys for watching if you're watching on twitch i'm not leaving if you're watching on youtube slam those like and subscribe buttons i will check you out next time really appreciate the support thanks guys